sensing that its relative power might have peaked with its population ageing, its economy slowing and its finances creaking, it is quite possible that Beijing could lash out disastrously quite soon. Our challenge is to try to ensure that the unthinkable remains unlikely and that the possible does not become the probable. That's why Taiwan's friends are so important now to stress that Taiwan's future should be decided by its own people and to let Beijing know that any attempt at coercion would have incalculable consequences. Its weaponised trade, especially against Australia, with our barley, wine and coal exports all stopped on spurious grounds. And its embassy has published 14 demands, essentially that we become a tributary state that no self-respecting country could accept. The trigger for all this was politely seeking an impartial inquiry into the origins of the Wuhan virus.